This picture of traffic and pedestrians crossing the Pont Neuf Bridge in Paris is one of the best paintings by Pierre Auguste Renoir. This painting is engaging and instructive because it successfully unites motif and method. Renoir visualizes the structure and transience of modern urban life. As a motif, this bridge afforded Renoir the opportunity to observe one of the central themes of his artistic project social interaction. But Renoir depicts this human drama with an Impressionist method that is as vibrant and dynamic as his motif. One of the defining characteristics of the Impressionist method was painting directly in the presence of the motif. To create this cityscape, Renoir painted from an upper floor window of a department store across the street from the bridge. According to the artist's brother Edmund, the painting was completed in a single day. Renoir would have Edmund run out and engage strangers in conversation. This would give the painter enough time to capture the way in which they were dressed and the way in which they are situated in a moment between light and shadow. This is Edmund in the foreground with a walking stick. But this practice of painting directly from the motif did not guarantee the success of Renoir's painting. Renoir had to translate the energy and order that he saw when looking at the city into the color and composition that we see when we look at his painting. In this painting, Renoir depicted the motif of modern life with an Impressionist method that is vibrant and dynamic. Renoir's color is both activating and harmonizing. He sets his color in motion through rapidly applied marks of paint. The heightened intensity of this color visualizes an atmosphere of light. Renoir's light unifies what might otherwise be disparate and detached figures. Everyone and everything in this painting is illuminated by the same light and they are harmonized by color. The Pont Neuf is not only the picture's central motif. The bridge is also integral to the painting's compositional structure. Renoir's figures are simultaneously present on the bridge, which is a pictorial illusion, and in the composition which is part of the real painting. Renoir translated the structure of the city into the design of his composition. By employing the bridge as both a motif in his picture and a compositional device in his painting, Renoir connects our reading of his painting with his vision of the city. As our eye reads across the painting, our imagination moves through the picture. Because these two things happen simultaneously, we are more directly and actively engaged. By uniting his motif and his method, Renoir makes us present in the moment that he depicts.